Right. All right. So we'll do two more questions, then we'll go into the uh, general Q&A. Okay. Like, uh, this is one that's very common, but uh, a lot of people wonder, as a gig worker, do you need to pay quarterly taxes? Like, how does that work? So again, you are a business owner, right? You're not a gig worker. You are a business owner. So repeat after me. You are not a gig worker. You are a <laughs> business owner. I know that's the popular thing to do <laughs> and say, right? But again, you are entitled to all those things. And yes, if you if you think you're going to owe more than, let's say, $2,000 by the end of the year when it's time to do your taxes, you should be filing estimated payments or quarterly taxes. I tell folks to break it up into um, monthly into monthly payments because it, it tends to be a little bit more manageable. Mm -hmm. um, most people, most Americans are not good savers. So anytime they see money, anytime they see money, um, anytime they see money in their account, they like to spend it. <laughs> sadly, <laughs> sadly, corporations spend billions of dollars a year on figuring out how to trigger people to spend money on their products. And it works and it works. So I would say try to break it down quarterly. Um, figure out what your profits are or what you can do is let, here's a, a easier one. Let's say you've, you've been uh, doing a ride share for like the last two years, use your previous year monies that you owed and break it down to four. That's technically what the IRS would do. Right? So for example, we are in the 2020 tax season, but when you filed your 2019 tax return, you owe 2,400 bucks. So that would break down to roughly $600 a quarter, or you could pay $200 a month and you would be squared away with the IRS. Hmm. Right. And uh, I know some people like to look at the IRS as like this big boogeyman, but if we're being honest, as a business owner, they're actually requiring you to keep accurate records. And then we should be doing anyway, just if we're going to be completely honest. You are 1,000% right, my friend. <laughs> Guess what? The better records you cre keep, the better business you can run. Yep. When it comes to, because some people will take their experience from working on these gig apps, and they may actually start a, another business. And mm -hmm. if you get in these habits, when it goes to uh, getting loans or getting grants, they're going to want to see your records, and you'll already have those habits built as opposed to looking like a deer in the headlights. That is true. That is very true. <laughs> 